now we are gonna show you how to multiply two digit numbers which are close to 10 quickly in your mind without using a calculator for example if I have uh, 12 and I want to multiply by 13 I will write 1 and then add 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 and then multiply 2 and 3 that is equal to 6 so my answer is 156 so as you can see it's pretty easy and you can easily remember this trick and go quickly with this kind of multiplication for your exams another example is if I have 14 and I want to multiply by 12 then I will say 1 and then 4 plus 2 is 6 and 4 into 2 is 8 so answer is 168 now there is a uh, one uh, problem that if we have a number which is uh, in which the, if we multiply the digits and it's not a single uh, digit but a two digit number then we would have to look at the trick for example uh, if I have uh, 12 and I want to multiply by 15 so in this case I will write 1 and then I say 5 plus 2 is 7 but 5 into 2 is 10 so I will write 0 here and I have to take 1 as a carry on so the answer will be 180 so this is a little uh, trick that you need to remember for uh, doing this kind of multiplication now let's go to the proof so I'm not doing any magic here so there is a simple mathematical proof for it for example if I have to multiply two digit numbers like 10 plus X and I want to multiply it by 10 plus Y so if you solve this what you will get is a uh, hundred plus X plus Y and uh, this x plus y will be multiplied by 10 and then we have x into y so see so that's why uh, if you uh, substitute your numbers suppose we have x is 2 and y is equal to 3 then you can substitute that and you get 100 plus 50 plus 6 so your answer is 156 so this is what I have shown you before the only difference is that uh, instead of remembering this zero you can just go by it very quickly if you remember that trick otherwise the answer is same and as you can see that numbers are first uh, 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 added and then also multiplied the multiplied number goes to the last place because they are not multiplied by anything and then the number which you add together are multiplied by 10 so they goes to the uh, tens place and then one goes to the hundreds place so one always is there at the hundred place if the number is close to 10 okay i hope this tutorial will help uh, i will see you again thank you